Welcome to the spoken tutorial on installation of Linux kernel packages. In this tutorial, we will learn how to install the GCC compiler, install the kernel header files, check the installed kernel version, use Linux kernel commands. To record this tutorial, I am using VirtualBox version 5.2. Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS operating system, Linux kernel version 5.0.0-31 generic. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with C programming language and basics of Linux kernel. If not, then go through the C or C++ and Linux spoken tutorials on this website. Go through the Ubuntu Linux on VirtualBox series on this website. Do the VirtualBox installation as per your system OS. The kernel is the main component of a Linux operating system. It bridges the hardware with the main programs that run on a computer. It is a program that adds as translators between devices and the Linux kernel. Kernel modules need to be compiled with GCC options to make them work. GCC contains the C compiler used to compile the Linux kernel. Start your Ubuntu 18.04 LTS virtual system. Type the system password to login. Open the terminal by pressing alt Control t keys simultaneously. We require the GCC compiler to compile the kernel's module. Let us check whether the GCC compiler is installed or not. Type GCC space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. As it is not installed, you will see an error as shown here. Otherwise, you will see the GCC version that has been installed. Clear the screen. Let us install the GCC compiler. Type sudo space apt space update and press enter. If asked for the password, type the administrative password. This command will update the Ubuntu's default repositories. Next, type sudo space apt space install space build hyphen essential. This package is used to install GCC or G++ compilers, libraries and utilities such as make. Press enter. We can see the installation process has begun. Press Y whenever there is a prompt during installation to confirm the configuration. And press enter. Now, the installation of GCC compiler is completed. Clear the screen. Let us check the version of installed GCC compiler. Type GCC space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here, you can see the installed GCC compiler version. Clear the screen. Let us now check the kernel version of the system. Type unim space hyphen r and press enter. Here you can see the kernel version of the system. 5 indicates the kernel version. 0 indicates the kernel major revision. 0 indicates the kernel minor revision. 31 indicates the number of fixed bugs. Generic means general usage kernel. It is used for desktop installation. You may get a different version depending upon your Linux OS. Clear the screen. Type sudo space su. Su command stands for super user or root user. Linux allows only the super user to run some commands. Press enter. If asked for the password, 
Type the system password and press enter. We can see the command prompt changed to root user. To compile the Linux device driver, we need to have kernel header files installed in the system. Let us install the kernel header files. Type apt space install space linux hyphen headers hyphen dollar in brackets uname hyphen r and press enter. The files are already installed on the system. So you can see the output as Linux hyphen headers hyphen 5.0.0 hyphen 31 hyphen generic is already the newest version. Zero upgraded, zero newly installed. Clear the screen. Let us see the details of the kernel headers. Type dpkg hyphen query space hyphen s space linux hyphen headers hyphen dollar in brackets unm space hyphen r and press enter. This field shows the package of header files. The status field indicates that the header files are installed or not. The install size field contains the size of installed kernel header files in bytes. This field shows the architecture of our system. The version field shows the version of the header files. As already learned, to see the kernel version, type unim space hyphen r and press enter. Here you can see that the kernel headers files version and kernel version are the same. Make sure that both versions are the same in your system. Clear the screen. Let us see the command that shows the kernel's modules. Type lsmod and press enter. This command shows the modules currently loaded in the kernel. These modules extend the kernel's functionality. Clear the screen. Type ls space hyphen l space slash dev and press enter. This command displays the list of files located under the dev directory. All the devices are located in the dev directory. C indicates that it is a character device and block devices are indicated by B. The last two entries shows the last modification date and time of a file. Clear the screen. Type ls space hyphen l space slash dev slash tty and press enter. The tty is a character device for the first UART serial port. Here the owner is root and the group is tty. It indicates that the owner, the group and others have read and write permissions. Another example of a character device is a keyboard device. Type ls space hyphen l space slash dev slash sda and press enter. It is a block device indicated by b. All mass storage devices such as sda are block devices. Here the owner is root and the group is disk. It indicates that the owner and the group have read and write permissions. These devices support random access. Clear the screen. Type ls space hyphen l space slash sys slash class slash net and press enter. Here you can see the list of network devices located in this directory. Network devices are also known as packet devices. Network devices simply transmit or receive the packets. This is normally a physical device like Ethernet card. Clear the screen. Type exit and press enter. 
you can see the command prompt change to regular user. To go back to user login, type exit and press enter. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to install the GCC compiler, install the kernel header files, check the installed kernel version, use Linux kernel command. As an assignment, type the below commands and see the output. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this Spoken Tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. The Spoken Tutorial Project will ensure an answer. You will have to register to ask questions. The Spoken Tutorial Forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. Do you have general or technical questions on embedded Linux device driver? Please visit the FOSSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSSI and Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay. This is Mayuri Panchakshari signing off. Thanks for watching.